بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم یو آل ہیئر ان ٹیلی اسکول ہماری ٹیلی اسکول آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر میم عثما گین اینڈ آئی ایم ایڈریسنگ یو تھرو دس چینل اینڈ ہیئر آئی ہیو ود لولی ونڈرفل ایکسائٹنگ فل آف ایکٹیویٹیز اینڈ لیسن دیٹ از جسٹ دا کانٹینیوٹی آف دا پریویس ون دیٹ از اباؤٹ پارٹیکلس you remember that let's see yes this is the part 2 of uh, the the chapter particles and you have heard about that all about i think you have revised the particle model different states of matter all right so what we are going to study today that is um, yes after this lesson you should be able to use the particle model to explain the expansion and contraction of solids liquids and gases all right so we will study today expansion and contraction in the case of different states of matter and again we will use the same model particle model to explain the pressure in gases yes is exert pressure we'll see how so let's start do you think expansion and contraction happens in solids liquids and gases in all in all states of matter yes that's why we are here to explain but we should know that what is expansion and contraction expansion is just getting bigger in size but it doesn't mean the number of particles and their size increases actually the substance increases its volume all right the particles stay the same means the number of particles and their sizes remain the same but actually when we heat the particles gain energy start to move more and so they spreads out so they take up more room so get they get bigger the substance gets bigger in size this is called expansion look at this diagram in hot condition and cold condition you can see the comparison in cold condition when a when a solid is uh, the any substance is uh, is at low temperature you have studied in particle model that uh, by increasing the temperature the size in, in the speed of the molecule increases the kinetic energy increases so when it gets heat up the particles actually start moving with more energy they have initially they have less energy so they are closer they take up less room okay so but when they get uh, when they are heated they get energy and move apart so this is how expansion and contraction occurs all right expansion and contraction first we'll talk about in solids how solids expand and contract and you have to look into the arrangement first and you have studied in in uh, in particle model in the previous lesson how tightly they are held and how close they are held they are and um, the the arrangement and the forces of attraction and the movement also recall it now the expansion of solid it solid is very small as compared to liquids and gases why because of the strong interaction between particles you know only the vibratory motion is possible there they are so close so what happens they have they, there is less degree of expansion as compared to liquids and gases that's why civil engineers have to think about expansion and contraction when planning roadways sidewalks and bridges because in summer season in very hot condition they expand and contract and they can damage these things can be damaged that's why they have to think about the expansion and contraction especially in the cases of solids okay let's start uh, and start with this experiment ring and ball experiment let's watch this video and then after this i will explain it also 
and during this uh, you will i think uh, will be clearly understood about the expansion of solids yes students we have known now that solids expand on heating and contracts on cooling now i am going to represent uh, an experiment to show the expansion of solids this ex this experiment is called ring and wall experiment it's very easy simple experiment for that you have to take a source of light heat and uh, a ball of rain let's start how is it carried out you have to take a, a ring ball like this right then you can see easily that before heating the ball passes through the ring easily it slips down why because the diameter of the uh, the ring is greater than the diameter of the ball so ball slips down easily through the through this ring okay this is before heating you can see it passes it passes easily there is no you know hindrance next step is heat the ball strongly for about 5 minutes at least for 5 minutes okay what will happen obviously it will expand and how can we check it okay whether it expands expanded or not yes on heating the metal expands and its diameter becomes greater than the diameter of the ring so it gets stuck let's see whether it stuck or not and on cooling it contracts and again slips through the ring so let's observe after heating the ball starts wow because its area has increased now diameter is increased on cooling the ball slips through it so this is i hope you have now clear idea about so after watching this video this is clear the solid expands when heated and contracts when cooled and uh, this slide shows the ball and ring experiment also and another experiment is, uh, is observation you can see you can uh, see from this slide that when cold the bar fits this bar fits into the gap all right but when bar is heated it will not why because it expands so it will not fit into this the gap shown here i hope you have understood now let's move uh, and talk about expansion of and contraction of liquids look at the arrangement in cold condition and hot condition all right in in cold condition when the temperature is low the liquid molecules are, are closer and moving with little uh, energy not very fast but as soon as it is heated it uh, it moves away the uh, the particles move away from each other yes so expansion occurs actually expansion when the liquid is heated the molecules have more energy and move more vigorously the movement of the molecules overcome the forces of attraction between the molecules and what will happen they allow them to move freely that's why the volume of the liquid increases let's watch this video in this we will observe that volume of liquid increases on heating let's watch yes students again there is an activity which shows the expansion of liquids expansion of liquid increases its volume we will see here for this 
you need a flask. Fill the flask with colored water till its rim, up to its rim, okay? Then like this. Close it with the rubber stopper. Then insert a narrow tube, a narrow glass tube in the flask through the hole of the stopper. Then heat the flask. Yes. And see what happens. Surprisingly, the water level first drops down and then it starts rising. And let's see why this, why this happens. Let's see. Actually, on heating, heat energy reaches the solid flask first and it expands the flask. And this increases the width of the flask and this makes water level to drop down. But soon after this, heat energy rises. Actually, it rises the water temperature also. And water starts expanding. Alright. Let's see, watch. Water level starts rising because first the heat is, is taken by the flask, it expands. And then it is taken by water inside and it starts expanding. And you can see the level of water rises. Water, water level rises and we can see increase in the volume of water. Are you looking at remarkable change in volume of water? So, what is uh, the conclusion? The conclusion is expansion of in liquid changes the volume of that liquid. Alright? I hope you have understood. Yes, after this interesting uh, uh, video or demonstration, uh, the same I have displayed here, the same diagram I have uh, displayed in front of you, how liquid expands. And uh, and again, there is another uh, this diagram in front, in front of you that of about, uh, it's a thermometer is shown, mercury or red alcohol is there. So, thermometer and the liquid in thermometer also rises the same way. When it's, um, it, it heats up and it rises in the, capillary tube inside. I hope you have understood the expansion and contraction of liquids. Let's see expansion and contraction of gases. And uh, what do you suggest? Um, the, there is more expansion of gases as compared to liquid or uh, solids? Hmm? Let's see. When the gas is heated, the molecules gain more energy and more faster and further apart. Already they are further apart, they are, they are away from each other, there are so many gaps, alright, and, uh, and uh, it means already there are spaces, so when it get, they, the molecules get heated up, they get more energy, more uh, movement, more kinetic energy, so they expand the most this causes the volume to increase but in the same way on contraction what happens at a lower temperature the molecules have more uh, have, um, actually the move slower slower and have less energy and they're closer together causing the volume to decrease this is very simple again the particle model is applied now another uh, activity I am going to sh sh share with you. Students, uh, let's uh, watch another demonstration for the expansion of gases. And you know, gases expand on heating. Okay, for this I have taken flask and I have stretched um, a balloon on the top of it. You can take either water in it or without water you can do it even. So then after this, I am going to place it over the heating plate. What will happen? Let's see. When you place it on a heating plate, heat it gently. 
then the molecules actually first the heat is taken by water and uh, the air is also containing uh, the work flask is also containing air inside the air gets heat up all right and then this air expands on heating the air molecules get going far apart expanding occupying more position and now it is inflated wow so this demonstration clearly indicates that it, that the air on heating it expands you can see it all right and uh, you know what happens when you cool it again it deflates let's see the reason again in the form of slides thank you yes <clears throat> what do you suggest what is the reason the same is shown here yes the same experiment okay what made the balloon get bigger it's simply the expansion of air trapped in the bottle and the balloon air expands when it is heated it spreads out and began to expand upward into the balloon as the bottle was heated all right the air molecules move faster and faster as the temperature rose the expanding balloon showed that this was happening and when the heat was removed the air molecules contracted took up less space and the balloon collapsed or deflated so this is uh, how the balloon experiment carried out i hope you have enjoyed this activity and i and uh, i expect that you will perform this activity at home but with precautions okay safety measures should be taken and un and uh, under adult supervision all right now the second topic uh, is about uh, gases which exert pressure but what is pressure let's define pressure pressure is defined as the force per unit area all right the force which is applied on an area on a unit area actually the gas particles are always colliding with each other and with the walls of the container in which they are held so when they collide with the walls of the container they hit and exert pressure look at this diagram all right okay now there are many examples you you observe the gas pressure gases exert pressure for example it's the pressure exerted by the gases that hold the walls of the container out tight in the case for example the pressure of the gases is what keeps our tires inflated okay and tires of the cars vehicle and makes our basketballs bounce otherwise uh, it will not bounce uh, as we want and uh, and this gas pressure makes hair spray come out of the can and it also helps our lungs inflate and uh, this also allows vacuum cleaners to work search more examples these are just few so the gases exert pressure and we observe it all right now the question is why do balloons get bigger as you blow them up what why very simple simple reason is the that when we blow when we blow up a balloon we are filling it with the air particles and air means gases air is a mixture of different gases these gases actually exert pressure on the wall of the balloon the more air particles we add the bigger the balloon means the more pressure more force they apply on the wall from inner side that's why the balloons get bigger all right now look at this picture this is um, passengers aircraft cabin and um, you know when we move higher up the sea level or uh, in the in the air in for example in in aircraft the low the pressure becomes low because there is less air as we move high so passenger aircraft have pressurized cabins to maintain the same pressure throughout the flight all right this is another application 
Another uh, application, do you know the name of the instrument which is used to uh, measure the pressure, air pressure? That is barometer. Barometer, barrow means weight, all right? A barometer works by measuring the amount of force exerted by the air's molecules hitting a surface area and it is measured in millibars. Now, there are two types of barometers we will see. I'm just showing the pictures because uh, in high classes you will study them in detail. Now, just get familiar with their names. First is mercury barometer and the next is aneroid barometer. All right. I'm just giving you uh, the aneroid barometer uh, first, the introduction. Okay. Because the most of the time we are using in weather forecast. In an aneroid barometer, a chamber containing a partial vacuum, partial vacuum is shown here in the picture, vacuum chamber, the, uh, actually a chamber containing a partial vacuum will expand and contract in response to changes in air pressure. Okay, outside um, the pressure changes, air pressure changes, so the, the vacuum, the partial vacuum also contract and expand uh, due to external air pressure and then it is uh, provided with the uh, pointer, spindle, lever, you can say a system of levers and springs actually then converts this into the movement of a dial. Now a very cool experiment I am going to present in front of you that is crushing can experiment. Let's watch students let's watch a very cool experiment that is collapsing can experiment how can i collapse the can empty soda can let's watch you need what will you need let's see this yes you need cold water can tongs and uh, big glass, funnel, some water and spoon. First you have to take one spoon of water and with the help of funnel put it in the can like this. Put the can on the heater and wait until water boils. You can see the steam. After a few minutes you can see the steam coming out. Then stop heating. Hold it with the tongs. Like this. Be careful. And put it in the can with cold water. It crushed. Yes. It crushed like this. Good. So, what is the reason of collapsing the can? Let's see. Let's watch this and uh, see the slides. Actually, by boiling the water, the water changes into water vapor. Okay, this is the uh, empty can, but when we put a water in it and heat it, what happens? The water changes into water vapor. And then this water vapor pushes the air that was originally inside the can out into the atmosphere. Okay. The air goes out. It means inside the pressure, inside the can, pressure decreases. Only water vapors are there. All right. Which has less pressure than air. Water liquid has less pressure. So, what is the reason then? What happens then when we put it in, in cold water? Let's see. When the can is turned upside down and placed in the water in just a split second, all of the water vapor inside of the can turns into liquid. It, they, they condense on cooling. Huh? So, this small amount of condensed water cannot exert much pressure on the inside walls of the can. What happens then? The result is the pressure of the air pushing from the outside of the can is great enough to crush it. External pressure increase is more is uh, becomes more than uh, internal 
So outside there's a great pressure and it crushed the, the can. Have you enjoyed that? And you, you, this activity you can also do at home but under adult supervision. Be careful. Okay. Now, why does a balloon pop? This is the question. Now, I am giving you the word bank, volume, greater, area, pressure and gas. And a paragraph will be given to you. You have to fill these words in the blanks. Alright, then you will get the reason. Okay, why does a balloon pop? This is the paragraph. Oh, all words are already put in. Okay, next then you can do, you can just see whether all words are correctly put, all blanks are correctly uh, filled or not. Let's read it. As the balloon is pumped, the dash increases, volume increases. Because more dash particles are put in means more gas particles are put in. As the particles move around, they hit the wall of the balloon which applies a pressure and that's I, uh, that I have told already that when the gas particles hit the wall of the container they are exerting force on a specific area on a unit area and exerting pressure so it is right the balloon eventually pops because the force exerted by the particles over a specific area becomes greater then the pressure outside the balloon. There is a pressure outside external pressure also and the gas in, inside the pressure is also inside the balloon also exerting pressure. So if inside the balloon there is more pressure it causes the balloon pop. I hope you have understood. Then uh, that's all from, to, from my side. And in the end, what is guess assessment sheet? You have to solve this assessment sheet under the supervision of your parents, or you can do yourself. It's very easy, and then uh, keep it stapled. And uh, whenever somebody is asked, then you have to hand it over. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. It's full of activities. And I expect that you will carry out all these activities and reason out. And all the points we have discussed, please revise again and again. Go through from the book also. Read it and keep all the things in your mind. I hope you have enjoyed a lot. Thanks. Stay blessed. Stay home and stay blessed. Thank you.